41 my lucky number i don't know you tell me but um guess where i am Ta -da! oh my goodness there's no one here i think this storm is good for 10 people i can see Anne is hello Anne. wow special delivery thank you so oops but there's no straw because i prefer to drink okay. it talaga. thank you Welcome. coconut is from my friend um, and so based from my experience this is actually much sweeter than the regular coconut that you would get is that's color normally green and um, let's give it a try oh my god wow and I did think and for not putting any straw because sometimes it's not made from bamboo or steel and they use plastic and that's a big no-no for me but um have a look around if you're staying here you do get 40% off from 6 p.m. to closing, please turn off air conditioner and lights before going out. Makes sense so we can save the environment. Transferring of bed bunks without prior notice will be charged accordingly. Actually, in the other dorm, there were house rules. And let's have a look at the house rules. But uh, yeah, the AC is not so cold at the moment just because I think they just turned it on since I got here. I was told as well that this whole place is... I think there's like coconut on my wall on my chin. I was told this whole place is fully booked, but I don't see any bags at all. No bags, no bags, nothing. But I do love the bamboo detail, bamboo railings, and you can see that uh, silver bar over there. I suppose that's for if you want to cover yourself and have more privacy. Wait a minute, I noticed something. Let me just put this down. So, oh, yep, yeah, okay. So if you're ever gonna stay in flying fish, get um, get this one just because there's more space up there. However, for me, I prefer my proper sleep. That means like pitch blackness. So I'm gonna stay here, and I'm so glad that the staff remembers my request. I really prefer darkness. Ideally, darkness at night and a lot of space. So that is the bed you want, number 43. Look at all that space you get. That's loads. Um, I have. Um, a con like storage room here so you just have to lift that then you can put your stuff under there and every every dorm bed has this light and you've got two outlets there of course if you have so much gadgets like I do drone GoPro three power banks two well three cell phones you definitely want to bring your extension cord which I brought mine as well I do like the lights of the other bunkers, the other beds here because look at that, it's more hipstery as you can see. Whereas I think minus LED, it looks like a Christmas light so you can see the difference there. So either get 43 with a lot of space up there or do get number 40 because you've got loads of space up here as well. Um, these guys, 37, there's no space up there. You know, I might actually transfer. Let me have a think of it. Um, I think the positive there is if you're staying up, there's no noise above you. Whereas if you're staying down, sometimes you can hear people going up and down the bed. So I might, I might, I might reconsider that. I might just get this just because I can move the curtains. Yeah, so I might take number 40 instead. I think 40 is mine. Oh, I, I'll let you know. Who knows? Right, so let's have a look outside. Ta-da! So if you stay tuned with me, tomorrow we are actually checking in the deluxe room. My god, I feel so fancy. It's the most expensive room here and as well as it's their most spacious room. Um, oh, that's it. Oh my gosh, I was expecting a little bit more out of this balcony space. But there you have it. 
I do miss having Anton around. Um, I normally bug him over there when he's so busy in his laptop. He looks so serious all the time. But right now, he's making his rounds over at Cebu. And hopefully, I do get to see him in Shirgao so I can probably bug him even more when he's busy again on his laptop. Um, right, let's have a look at the house rules. No smoking inside the room, duh. Uh, when caught, so you have to pay 3,000 pesos. Um, so there are smoking areas provided. I'm not sure if this is the smoking area. I really am allergic to smoking. I'm so sorry for all your smokers out there. I respect if you need to smoke, but it's just I used to do social smoking for for fun. But even if I want to do it, I like I get I get sick, so I just I can't. Even if I sometimes want to, it's tempting. So no eating, drinking inside. There's a penalty of 500 pesos. Avoid using avoid. It doesn't say do not. <laughs> so avoid using other beds or sorry other other bed, blanket, or pillow. So if you want to use any of those, you just have to pay additional 150 pesos. On the review online, some people didn't like that just because uh, they were complaining that the AC was too cold and that like they should have provided extra blankets. Honestly, 150 pesos, go for it. Um, I mean, it's just, it's just the price that you have to pay if you're staying in a dorm and you have to coexist with everyone you're sharing. Otherwise, Come prepared, bring your own blanket. I think that's the best thing to do. So, you know, everyone's at peace with each other. And that's that's it. Let's have a look at, I've been wanting to show you actually, I've been wanting to show you the, the bathroom. By the way, this is dorm E, in case you're wondering. And there are other dorms here that are good for seven, five, and yeah, less people. But yeah, so you have to be quiet 10 p.m. to 8 a.m. Dorm D. I don't know what that looks like. Maybe we'll get to see it. I don't know. But this is what it looks like down there. There's a little, I think that's the housekeeping area. But I love the detail. Look at how quirky this place has so much character. And I love that they didn't like overdo it with the whole luxury. For me, it's more artsy. And I prefer that just because I don't know, it just it adds art and culture. It keeps your eyes busy and keeps your eyes interested. Like this, um, that light fixture is bamboo and this is an air Ooh, a lot of yoga clothes Ooh, a lot of people are doing yoga here or maybe they're just exercising but this is a place where you can hang your clothes and I've been wanting to show you this because I checked in here when I first got to Dumaguete I wanted to show you their oh hello <laughs> I was wanting to show you their bathroom so it has this very industrial feel I mean check this out it's not a proper like um, handle but it does give you that very yeah industrial factory feel which I like because I don't live here I don't have to deal with it but like for the fun of it I don't mind experiencing something like this so yeah have a look at that Oop. obviously it's working and all over like Negros Oriental I noticed this style of cement is so popular I just see it in each and every hostel literally so right if you turn this on I love their their bamboo fixtures which there you go it's really pretty Toilet one, toilet two, so you are sharing the same light fixture. And basically their shower area is just the same without the toilet. So let's turn that on. And one thing I do appreciate about this hostel is that they provide you soap and body wash. Whereas, you know, other hostels don't, it's just really basic. Basically you have a, a place to sleep and that's it. But this one, yeah, body wash very nice it's very helpful and I love the the shower head so you all know how that looks like when you turn it on it's like a waterfall but check out the place where you hang your clothes again it's just nails so if you're gonna bring any material that's chiffon or cashmere you might want to have a, a think about that but this is shower number two again I really really love the fixture that's native material up there and look at the wood on the wall it's just really quirky again you have body wash there and more oh my gosh yeah nails and there's a little bit of rust but it really adds to the fun of it let's have a quick walk around the area so you can see the floor is wood and again like it's not perfect and that's really the point of it you you want to keep looking at at the details <laughs> Sikihor room if you guys know Sikihor it's a good place to visit it's just literally right across the island but look how quirky it is that's the staircase going down. Um, this room looks like there's some people I can hear, people laughing. Bohol room. Oop, <laughs> hello. Bohol. 
And yeah, basically that's it. So, <laughs> basically that's it. This is the second floor. The ceiling's pretty high. But you can imagine when it rains, you're gonna really hear the sound of the on the yarrow. I think yarrow is what it's called. Um, and basically, yeah, this no smoking friendly reminder so yeah it's a really wholesome hostel i'm sure if you've gone around asia or in the philippines you have those party hostels um this is not one of it which i definitely prefer so nice details again here and this is a mango tree unfortunately my gopro can't zoom but you can see a mango just sticking out right there i don't know if it's mango bearing season at the moment but there you have it this is a quick and short little tour of Flying Fish Hostel. Uh, we're getting a private room tomorrow too. I think we're here, are we here? Oh shoot, oh my gosh. Oh, sorry. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I just entered the wrong dorm room. But um, home sweet home guys. And I'm really sad because we are checking out in the Two nights, two nights time, three days time, on the third day we're checking out and we're flying back to Manila. I have to say, I got really emotional because I checked in um, Mango Tree Eco Hostel and I got so attached to the place and I suppose that's one of, I think that's the hardest thing about traveling is when you get attached, when you get attached, period, I got, I got so attached to the place because there's so much trees, um, it's all nature, I mean this place has nature too if you look outside, that's all green. But it's just so raw and it's so unpretentious and everyone's so chill. Of course, the staff here, they're so professional, which I love. There, it's like, well, I don't know. <laughs> it's just, I mean, oh. yeah, I, I, I love the flying fish. But um, there's something about being out of your comfort zone. And I'm glad I got to experience the, the, the mango tree eco hostel. Um, the reason why I had to check out early, I was supposed to stay, we were supposed to stay there one more night is because there was, there's no water for two days already and I, I'm, look at, look at all the bites that I'm getting as well. I literally haven't showered in two days and so I feel like when hygiene is compromised, I definitely crossed the line there. Yeah, I needed to shower so if there was a water running, I would have definitely stayed one more night but they said that the water supply was coming from a public source whereas other water supplies were coming from the river and so i just wonder how that works i'm really not a, a plumber or a water sourcer i don't know i don't know how it works but here here i am here we are tomorrow we're checking in the deluxe room which is their most expensive or supposedly nicest room and you have two options again on the second floor one has a balcony and the other one has no balcony however it's more spacious inside i chose the one with no balcony because it's further out further inside from the road the one with the balcony is facing the road and therefore you can hear the sound of the vehicles and again i really value proper sleep so we're staying in the other room i hope you join me but today this is, yeah, this is our day over here at Dumaguete and hopefully we'll get to grab some some scran or some food later on. I'm gonna get settled and start to unpack my stuff and enjoy my buton. I really wish I could share this with all of you. I really hope you get to try this golden buton or buko. Look for it when you come to the Philippines. It's much, much, much sweeter. Let me know if you get to try it. I'm telling you, it's much sweeter. So you have to look for the golden buton or golden buko. <laughs> I forgot to mention I was saying the hardest thing about traveling is when you get attached and I cried a while ago and I don't think that I'm silly but I, I, I got so connected with their, one of their black dogs I named him Blackie and literally when I say Blackie he comes to me in fact when I got home yesterday from the astrophotography shoot and that means I didn't sleep over at the hostel when I came back and I was just gone for one night he was the only dog that came to me and jumped at me and he like tried to bury his bury his head in my in my belly and he just stayed there for five seconds and it's like I really wish I can adopt him or I can take him with me at the same time I know I'm always on the go I'm traveling as well but it would be nice to yeah I just I got really touched and oh I'm gonna get so teary yeah so I got really connected I got connected, I got so um, attached to, to their dog. And yeah, I'm definitely gonna miss Blackie, but I know he's gonna be in good hands. So that's the hardest thing about traveling, for me at least, is when you get attached to, to the place, to the dogs, to the people. Okay, 
I'm gonna end this because I don't want to cry. <laughs>